so the water comes from the tank direct, directly from the power head which is submerged and through the spray bar which has multiple holes along it distributing the water evenly across the filter material which has a physical and biological role in filtration then the water comes back out the other end after it's finished being filtered and back into the tank so in this simple system that I've got here I've just got two layers of material um, of fine material here which catch the solids and then some coarse sponge which serves as the biofilter so I'll just pop that to the side for now while I show you the biofilter sponge now we have some coarse sponge you can see it's got um, it's larger pores in it and then we have also some noodles, ceramic noodles which are trapping devices for large sediment but also provide um, a surface area in which the bacteria can live on and convert the ammonia into a non-toxic form. Now that I've taken the media out for cleaning, using a hose connected to this um, modified piece of PVC with a tap on it, it's easy for me to remove 30% of the water without um, any real effort, no carrying of buckets. So this can then siphon out into the garden area and a, nice, a cover over the exit point stops the fish being drawn in through the hose as well so it provides a safety barrier. So the water can be emptied directly into the garden on your favourite plants or trees, fruit trees for example. But there's no point wasting this water, um, might as well use it to also clean the biomedia we've got. So it's ideal because this is the, it's the same conditions in that water that the bacteria are used to living in. It's chlorine free, chloramine free and it's safe. And the fish tank can then be used outside to clean this um, filter material. So I'll put it straight into a bucket and then agitate, agitate and it's a good idea to also rinse off your noodles, your ceramic noodles to get any solids that are trapped around or between them or within and then you can just rebuild your filter um, components back on again and reassemble back into the main tank system. So while I've been out cleaning the filter material, the tank is nearly drained by a third. It's nearly finished. And I've come in and replaced the two containers with the bio and physical filtration material back into the system, ready to go again. So that's all done. So it's very quick and easy. Then all I have to do is refill the tank after dechlorinating the water. Now the tank's finished draining to a little over a third. Um, I can reverse the water flow from the tap and fill it up. All I need to do is connect the tap on, put the air water conditioner in, and then I can begin filling again and it'll be safe for the fish. Now I've measured out my water conditioner which removes the chlorine and chloramines and then I've added some extra 
and what I do is spread that around evenly throughout the tank before I put the water on again and I give it a bit of a stir just to make sure it mixes through the water and that's non-toxic to fish so you can put in a little bit extra and it won't impact them but it is essential to have it in there before you put the um, new water in. So now the tank's filling up again, water's coming back in, and the fish aren't bothered by the mains water. They've got their chlorine remover and it's an instant chemical reaction. I've just given it the water a stir just to keep it moving and diluting as a whole. But you'll notice that their submerged power head is switched off the whole time so we're not risking putting any chlorinated water at all near the bacteria in the biofilter. And the fish are quite happy as well because we've done it in the right order. Now the tank's full. All we need to do is start it up again and we'll also add some salts for the fish just to make sure they've got the right balance of salt in the water for their happiness and biological requirements. So we'll fire it up. You can see now the biofilter is back working and that will be right now for at least another month with the amount of food that I give these fish. So the system's operating beautifully. A little bit of gunk will come back into the tank when you fire it up, but that'll soon settle out and it certainly doesn't bother the fish at all.